You never seen that video? Not at all. I just have a lot of free time. That's just the difference. Yeah, that's a problem. What? That's the problem? That's a problem. How? I wonder what your search jersey look like. Uh, you don't want to see. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy D Mark Anthony here today, and don't forget. Ah, oh, fuck. I haven't done intro in forever. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy D Mark Anthony here today, and welcome to today's video. I know I just woke up, you can see by the hair and everything like that, and i um, probably gonna butcher this intro anyways, but y'all comment down below guys in this video, um, we got Baby Gronk in the video, so I wanna see who's, who y'all think is better, is Baby Gronk the GOAT? You know, who's better, Baby Gronk or Baby Dick? So y'all comment down below, and if you like this type of videos, leave questions down in the comments and everything, and just don't forget to leave a like and comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe, and yeah, we'll get right to it. Alright, so today we're here with... Joey, Aaron. Alright, so the first question I'm gonna ask you guys is if you were to be a female for a day, what's the first thing you would do, bro? Shit. <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna let bro answer this one first. I'll jump up and down. Naughty, naughty, you teasing me. I know what you mean by that, hey, that dirty dog, right? <laughs> what about you, bro? I'm gonna take a while, I guess I already know, but I'm not gonna answer it for you. <laughs> all right, so the next question is gonna be, you're part of Bank Rolls, uh, like, friend group, basically. All right, so that's a good, good thing I can ask you this. What has been the craziest experience you have experienced being on this tour with them right now? Just the shows, the fans. The last show, one of the fans got uh, Aiden's name tattooed on her. Oh, pause. Same name right. I saw that on TikTok, actually. I saw that. What about you, bro? What's one of your thing? He's just been dope going to all these cities, seeing all the fans he got, and just fucking, you know, just turning up, you know what I mean? Just chilling, man. It's been a good time. The last and final question is, if you were to tell something to your younger self, what is that first thing you would tell them? Chase your dreams, and uh, whatever you do, give 100% out. Sure. I would tell them, think before you do. 100%. I, I like that one. That's a good one. I never heard someone say that. So today we're here with? Kill Bunk. All right, so the first question I'm gonna ask you, bro, is what is one of your craziest experiences that you've had when you started like going on tour and creating music? Um, these niggas be pranking. What do you mean by that? <laughs> they be pranking. Pranking everything. So, this nigga uh, Hayden put Vienna sausages on one of our uh, sound niggas' feet. What? Because it was hanging out the bunk. He put Vienna sausages <laughs> on it. He threw Vienna sausage in my bunk. That's what she said. <laughs> Shit was smelling like Vienna sausage. You no, know, Kill told me that you put Vienna sausage in between everybody's like toes and shit like that. Uh, <laughs> so I'm like, we got bunk only, not everybody, just bunk. The whole entire way through? Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright, so the next question I'm gonna ask you, bro, is what is one of the crazy experiences that you have with a fan? Yo, so like the first show I did, when I got off stage, like no, no one realized, and then like at the end of the show, when the lights turned on, oh. everyone turned around and it was like, Surprise, motherfucker. Oh, shit. Kill Bunk. <laughs> like, this nigga was standing behind us the whole time. So that shit was like, that shit was crazy. Like, they random, right? Yeah, they was crazy. Like, that shit was just crazy. And the last and final question I'm going to ask you, bro, it's a stupid question. But if you're to be a female for today, bro, what's the first thing you're going to do? I don't know, bro. What do, what do, what do, what do girls do? Bro, Starbucks? Starbucks? I mean... I mean, yeah, but for me, that I would do something way different than I mean. Naughty, naughty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he knew it's an anatomy. Hey, I got to do that Um, that one girl, Um, not Riley Reed. What's the other girl? The I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Piper Perry, bro. Man, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Stop the cap. <laughs> so today we're here with... Sorry. All right, guys, so today we just got done with the 29 tour in Houston. So the first question I'm going to ask you, bro, is who was the biggest inspiration to why you started music? And if you are to tell people that are getting into music, what would you tell them, like, in the industry? Um, so my biggest inspiration of me making music, like, as a kid, I used to listen to Drake a lot. Drake? And, uh, G Herbo. Nice. So I started messing with them. And they really, um, I, like, really, like, learned how to start rapping at first. That's what I'm talking about! My advice to up and coming artists right now is just like, just keep posting your shit, you keep reposting your shit, sharing your shit on your story. Like every day, I used to, I used to push myself to share my shit at least one time on my story every day. Ah, boy. The second question I'm gonna ask you is, what is the craziest thing you have seen so far on this tour? Craziest thing on this tour? I don't know. It's just. 
see how Aiden be working. Like he's oh. all every every day, all day, every day he always working. So it's just crazy to see his work. I think. Oh, so I kill. He said that they put Vienna sausage and everything in there. <laughs> yeah, that man bugged out. So the last and final question, bro, is if you're gonna be a female for a day, bro, obviously we gotta know what would you do? We fucking got him. <laughs> I think your mom's right in front, but <laughs> I feel like I know the answer, you just don't want to say it right. <laughs> you naughty naughty. <laughs> I think I know the answer on that one. <laughs> Me personally, bro, I just gotta go the pipe repair route. What did he say? <laughs> Got him. <laughs> you seen that picture with the like four black guys and the one hair? <laughs> Yeah, that's that's me, bro. That's what I would do. No, you're bugging. <laughs> All right, so today we're here with Bang Roll Hayden. All right, guys. So we just got done with the 29 tour right now. So we're just about to ask you a quick couple questions. All right. So the first question I'm gonna ask you, bro, is what, who was your biggest inspiration to why you started music? And if you were to tell upcoming artists and stuff in the industry, what would you tell them? Man, if I were to tell other people trying to chase their dream and this shit, man, I tell them be they self, be consistent, work hard, man. Man, bro, you really gotta you gotta put in that work. It's not about just the music. You gotta get your ass on TikTok. You gotta post. You gotta go live. You gotta build a fan base, man. So it's a lot of shit that went into it. For sure. But uh, my my favorite artist, really Drake. Drake always inspired me to work hard and just like the shit he does. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's what I look up to for. Real. The second question I'm gonna ask you is. What is one of the craziest things that you have experienced so far on this tour? Man, we only three days in, but... Give me two. We'll make it easy. Shit, uh... Just people coming up to me saying I, I changed their... Saved their life. I changed their life. Saved their life. Like, shit like that. Stick with me for a long time when people say shit like that, man. That's what I'm doing this music shit for, man. Sure. My purpose for real. And I saw that someone got a tattoo after, um... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was crazy. <laughs> I, I, I wrote on her arm, like, a me and greet my signature, and she got a tattoo the day after, so... That shit was lit. I know Kill told me that you put Vienna sausage in between everybody. <laughs> got him. It's like toes and shit like that. Uh, <laughs> so I'm like, we got bunk only, not everybody, just bunk. <laughs> and so the last and final question is, bro. Uh, for the last and final question, man, is if you're to be a female for today, bro, what is the first thing you would do? Say that again. If you're to be a female for one day and one day only, what's the first thing you would do? I don't know about that one. I don't know. What you mean by that? Like, all right, let's see, like, if you're just be a female, like, would you go get your hair done? Would you go out, like, spend a bunch of clothes or, like, go up to someone, like, famous and just ask him for, you know, to take you out on dates and stuff like that? You know what I mean? Not not like, fucking... I was, like yeah, <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be a girl for a day, man. That's, yeah, that's not possible, you know what I'm saying? Not, it's not even realistic. True. If you were to tell something to your younger self, what is the one thing you would tell them? I got a tour bus. You know what I'm saying? Got a tour bus, man. That's what I'll tell my younger self, man. You, just never, you manifested into like real, realization, right? Yeah, yeah, no, just how far we came type shit. Alrighty, guys, so today we're here with Baby Gronk. So the first question I'm gonna ask you is who is the craziest celebrity that you've met so far? Whoa, calm down, Jamal. The uh, gymnastics person from LSU. How was that experience when you first met her? It was good. Nice. Way different? Didn't yeah. expect it? Yeah. That's why he's the GOAT! So the second question I'm going to ask you is, what is one of the craziest sports memories that you have so far? Mm, when I played against Devin Hatcher's kid, uh, kid. Sweet. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Oh, uh, I was in a tournament in Florida, and I played against his kid, and we beat him. Sweet, that's what's up, bro. Good shit, good shit on that one. And the last and final question I'm gonna ask you is, what is one of the craziest experiences that you've had so far since you've blown up? When I met, uh... 12 seconds later. When I met... One eternity later. Uh, Drewski. We fucking got him. <laughs> uh, who is that, Drewski? Oh, snap, how is he as a person? He was good. Hey, that's what's up, bro. All right, so today we're here with... Double R, baby. So the first question I'm going to ask you, bro, is what is one of your craziest experiences you've had so far since doing music? As far as, like, in the studio, like, or, like, something like that. Yeah, kind of like... Come on, you stupid brain. What? 
in the middle of like meeting fans or something like that? I, I be I be seeing some crazy DMs though. They be like telling me I sold my soul and stuff like. Hold up, wait a minute. Something ain't right. Yeah, so it's probably like one of the crazy ones so far. I mean, you're not <laughs> wrong, but you didn't have to say it. Really? Yeah. That, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> so the second question I'm gonna ask you is, what is one? Who is the one pe <laughs> person that really inspired you when starting music? And what would you tell people in the industry that are upcoming? I can say, um, Juice World definitely inspired me, and uh, Young Thug and Future. Oh, let's go! That's class. And uh, you said, what do I got to say for the upcoming artists? Yeah, like, people that are trying to get into music and the industry and stuff like that. You know, the the normal, like, be yourself and then also just, like, stay focused and be consistent. No, no. He's got a point. And, you know, like, everybody says that, but it's true. That's what's going to get you to where you want to be at. That's what's up, bro. I understand, and I really respect that stuff, bro. And the last and final question is the most stupidest question I've asked almost every artist and famous person. If you were to be a female for a day, bro, what's the first thing you would do? Oh, I'm probably finesse some guys out of their money. Naughty, naughty, you teasing me. That, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> like Drake, right? Yeah. Hey, the ketchup bag and all that. I mean, the hot sauce. Huh? Yeah, but for yeah. me, bro, I would be like Piper Perry if you know who that is. Nah, who's it? It's a, it's a famous actress. Oh, uh, have okay. you seen that picture of the four black guys with the one white girl in the middle? <laughs> Oh, shit. <laughs> That's what I would do, bro. That's just me personally. So today we're here with DJ Goofy 500. DJ Goofy, but ain't shit funny. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the first question I'm gonna ask you, bro, is what is one of your favorite things that happened while doing DJing? And what is like, who was your inspiration to start DJing? Um, I actually have a brother-in-law that taught me everything I know. Um, and I don't know, one of the craziest things I've seen um, was catching... Um, Recently, catching Drake and J. Cole share the stage at Dreamville Festival. So, oh, yeah, shit. It's like top tiers for me. Like, yo, it's crazy. And so the next question I'm going to ask you, bro, is what is one of the craziest fan experiences that you've had since you've been on the tour? Um, people following us to the bus, man. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Like, oh, shit. Yeah, bro. like, yeah, they like, yo, they catch us coming out of the side and everything. And just, bam, like, they see the bus and they're like, oh, hey, hey, hey. Slow down. And they're just sitting out there waiting, right? Yeah, like for 20, like, 30 plus? Man, it's just crazy, period. You know, you never know what might happen. So, yeah. <laughs> I know the tattoo was something crazy that Bang oh, got. Oh, <laughs> that was crazy. I was like, dang. Like. And so, the last and final question, bro, is going to be what has been the favorite song that you have played so far out of your whole career? Uh, my favorite song? Uh, dang, I got so many, but. You can give me three. Let's make it easy. All right. I would say, I would want to say. March Madness by Future. That's like one of my, that's like one of, it just remind me of a, like a, a, a good time. Um, uh, damn, it's so, it's so much. Cause it's like, yo, I'm like me being a DJ, I just, I, that's all I think about is music. music so it's yeah. like, yeah, so like, I really can't narrow it down to three. I just like, you know. Just know it's just a lot. Yeah, it's a bunch, <laughs> man. It's a lot, it's a lot. If you wanted to tell uh, people that are inspired to do like DJing, what would you tell them? Yo, look, check this out. It takes a very long time it's look it's easy to learn but it's hard to get good at so man practice that's all i can say you know what i mean like keep like yo motivate yourself with practice that's for what it is for sure for sure and is there a way i could get you dj at my birthday not right now but <laughs> in a year after the tour yo give me a call bro i hey, got you i'm gonna come sure. through 100 <laughs> percent. hey that's all i'm talking about <laughs> That's it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching today's video. And I got another video coming for y'all soon, and I'm gonna start doing the Amigo interviews and stuff. So y'all leave some questions down below that y'all want me to ask, but do y'all think Baby Gronk is the GOAT? And who's better, Baby Gronk or Baby Diggs? So don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.